Hey, so speaking about uh, vignettes, how about the one that you did with Kevin Sullivan? Um, so I discovered Kevin Sullivan in my teenage years when I got the internet and I can go and watch old wrestling. I didn't have good tape traders around me when I was a kid. Um, okay. I, I had the idea that that existed. Um, you know, we could get them from Blockbuster or your local VHS place, but like, I really only had access to WWF when I was little. Um, so when I was a teenager and I went and I started watching WCW stuff to gain like a frame of reference and context with these characters, I found Kevin Sullivan. And yeah. I was just like, he reminds me of like a Charles Manson, like he reminded me of all the crazy mm. stories in the newspapers that came out and were on the news when I was a kid about the whole satanic panic and like yeah. all that stuff. And I was like, this is genius. And I always wondered yeah. Two decades i was like i wonder if he's really like that eventually i met him at conventions and i began to talk to him and i said hey listen um not in like a strange morbid fucked up way but like i've always <laughs> i've always like really liked your stuff and i've always had an interest in like watching case studies on serial killers and stuff like that and i was just curious were you the same way and he had basically just expressed to me where his influences came from why he thought it should go in that direction and he too like a lot of us was like hey i'm undersized I can work, but I need to bring something really unique to the show in order to be in it. That's the way this works. Give the crowd something that they can't see anywhere else. And that yeah. was how he explained it to me. So I called Kevin uh, last year because I've wanted to do it for years. I've got a book like this thick of stuff no one's ever seen. And this was in there. And I just ran it by him. <laughs> Is this stupid? And he's like, I'm so flattered you called me. Let's do it. And we got together. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I, I drove out to him and I ran it by him like – Make this yours. I don't want to tell you what to say. Here's just the general framework. You know your character. And the idea was like Kevin Sullivan being who he has been in his career. The irony of him becoming a priest and completely getting away from the opposite end of where he's at. And he has this estranged son who he has yeah. a terrible relationship with. And now Scarlet is actually more like Kevin Sullivan than Kevin Sullivan is Kevin Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, his, his character was bad to women. And now a woman comes in and removes his son from him. And we just talked about it forever. And I just thought, you know what? I don't give a shit if the whole world doesn't see this and it doesn't blow up to be famous. This will be fun to create. And that's where yeah. I was. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's, uh, that speaks to just that creative outlet that I think most of us in this business, that's the itch we're trying to scratch, you know? And then that's when the frustration comes in at times to, you know, get whatever company, but if like your creativity is kind of being stifled, um, it's a frustrating place to be. So to have, you know, the, the chains off, or whatever you want to, you know, call it, um, and be able to uh, flex those uh, creative muscles is uh, is always rewarding. Hell yeah! Where can we catch? Uh, where can we find that one, Frank? You've you've uh... Sullivan, my son. <laughs> YouTube on there too. <laughs> Sullivan. It's it's been on my channel. I've been doing okay. these uh, videos for almost a decade now, hoping okay. that have a library now i do it's all free it's on oh, the killer. awesome say it again the killer cross channel on youtube killer cross okay yep we will go there